51 says, what metric unit would you measure to the width of your hand? So my hand, I would probably measure in centimeters. Because, you know, I've got my hand here, and I've got a, a ruler. And centimeters seems like a pretty good thing to measure. And my, mine looks like about, I'd say, 8.20 centimeters. So centimeters is a good thing for your hand. Part B, the thickness of a book cover. Uh, the thickness of your book cover isn't a centimeter thick. It's not, the, a book cover isn't this thick. It's We're talking millimeters, so millimeters would be a good thing for my book cover. Part C, height of my classroom. That's going to be a whole lot of centimeters tall. So I probably would go meters for how tall my classroom is. And part D, the distance from your home to your class, that's going to go kilometers. So this is where, you know, prefixes and scientific notation come into handy, depending upon the scale of the thing that we're measuring. And physics encompasses all of these things. I mean, there's the physics of the very, very large, I mean, stars and planets, and physics of the very, very small, um, wa light wavelengths and subatomic particles. And we need all of them to be able to be measured very easily.